So this will be the last of the implicit differentiation inverse trigonometric function videos, and we will be taking the derivative of arc cotangent of x, which is also the cotangent inverse of x, whichever it is that you would prefer to call it. So we will be taking advantage of the fact that arc cotangent of x and cotangent of x are complete opposites and that they cancel each other out. They are inverses. That's the word that I was looking for. So what we will do is we will make our function y is equal to arc cotangent of x. And then what we want to do is we want to take the cotangent of both sides in order to cancel out the arc cotangent on the right side. So we take cotangent of y is equal to the cotangent of the arc cotangent of x. Now this cotangent and arc cotangent will cancel each other out. All we have on the right side left is x. So the cotangent of y is equal to x. And what we want to do is we want to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we will take the derivative of cotangent of y where y is a function of x. So this will be a differentiation by chain rule where it is that our f of x is our outer function, g of x is our inner function, and then f prime and g prime are just their respective derivatives. So we have an outer function of cotangent of x, an inner function of y, and then the derivative of cotangent of x is negative cosecant squared of x, and the derivative of y is just dy by dx, which we will eventually be solving for. So we want to differentiate both sides of this equation, dy, not dy, just d by dx of cotangent of y is equal to d by dx of x. So if we wanted to take the derivative of cotangent of y, we would use the chain rule, which is f prime composed of g multiplied by g prime. So this whole derivative will simply become negative cosecant squared of composed of g negative cosecant squared of y, all multiplied by dy by dx. So the derivative of this side is equal to that, which is negative cosecant squared of y times dy by dx. And that's equal to the derivative of the right side, which is just d by dx of x, and that's just equal to 1. So this whole thing is equal to 1. So what we want to do is isolate dy by dx. We will divide both sides by cosecant squared of y. So we divide by negative cosecant squared of y. All we're left with is dy by dx on one side and 1 over negative cosecant squared of x on the other side. So let's just clean this up a little bit. dy by dx is equal to negative 1 over cosecant squared of y. Now we can clean this up a little bit further just by using uh, the more elementary trigonometric functions because cosecant is just no fun to work with. I much prefer to work with sine. Cosecant is essentially the inverse of sine. So what we can view this as is actually not just 1 over negative 1 over cosecant squared of y but negative sine squared of y because cosecant is essentially 1 over sine. We can flip the sine up into the numerator, so this becomes negative sine squared of y. So this is negative sine squared of y. And now, in order to put things back in terms of x, essentially what we want to do is construct a triangle using these statements that we made before. So we know that the cotangent we will construct our triangle and plug a little angle y right over here in the corner. So the cotangent of y is going to be equal to x. Now we know that the tangent is going to be equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent portion of the triangle. So the cotangent will be the opposite of that, where it is that it will be the adjacent divided by the uh, opposite. So the cotangent is going to be equal to x, and this can be viewed as x over 1. So this side will just be 1. And then we will have the hypotenuse, which is just the square root of the sum of their squares, which is square root of x squared plus 1. Now we have negative sine squared of y. So using this triangle, we want to figure out exactly what the sine of y is. Sine of y is going to be equal to 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1. 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1. 
So what we're going to do in order to finish things off over here is we will write this out. Negative sine squared of y is equal to negative 1 over the square root. Whenever it is that you square it, it will essentially disappear. So all it is that we'll be left with is what's contained within the radical. So negative 1 over x squared plus 1. And that is the derivative of cotangent, arc cotangent of x using implicit differentiation.